Tom, first and foremost, what's it like uh, having, a, having a book based on you? That, that must be quite a, a special feeling. Yeah, it is. Um, but in the first place, I'm very, very proud, um, like I mentioned already a couple of times, of my, of my wife. Uh, because it was basically um, yeah, a gift um, for my present. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's very interesting and very emotional day in general with the signing session also together with my, with my wife for the first time and but last Friday was also a special day a special day for us when uh, it got uh, on the market and you, you, the people started to buy the book that's a uh, really really interesting and uh, emotional time at the moment yeah it must be quite nice for both of you to do it as a family usually you're the one signing autographs but to do it with, with your wife must make it uh, even more special yeah, um, like I said, it's the first time for us to sign things together. Sometimes uh, when we leave the stadium after games, so people ask for a signature also from Anna. Um, but today was uh, was really was really interesting uh, to sit next to my wife and uh, people asked her especially to sign to sign uh, her book and other things and to make pictures. And uh, yeah, I'm really really happy for her as well because this is what she deserves also. And um, yeah, and she got a lot of uh, positive feedback already and I'm very happy for it. And obviously the, the book is based on your story and you said you get quite emotional reading it. Mm -hmm. it, it must be quite interesting to, to relive that story I would imagine. Um, yeah, um, it's uh, it was a tough time where we, where we struggled a couple of times uh, football-wise um, because football uh, or life is not always fair. And uh, but you need to you need to find a way out of it, and we did. And um, so yeah, I'm proud we made it as a as a family together as a team. And um, so yeah. You said there you've had a few setbacks. It must make playing even in the in the Premier League even more special because you have had the t the hard times in, in your career. Exactly. Um, it is. Um, it's. Uh, it was the sherry on a on a cake. I think it's the right <laughs> thing. Yeah. Um, so to to be honest, that was always a dream um, of my. Um, yeah, which came came true um, in August when I made my first appearance for Norwich in the Premier League, and um, yeah, that um, was the credit or that was the bonus uh, we, we deserved as a club and also for me as a yeah as an individual and I'm very proud to be to be part of this uh, of this team of this club and also uh, to be in the Premier League now but um, this um, is not the only reason I hope we can keep going with performances not with the results um, to stay uh, for a couple of more years in the Premier League yeah I'll, I'll get on to the, on to the, the football on the pitch a, a, a bit later on but for the moment, how difficult has it, has it been mentally for you in your career when you have had them setbacks to, to respond and to have them in, on a few occasions as well? Yeah, there were only uh, two options. Um, I can, I can, I can leave it, so I can stop with or quit with uh, football and say, okay, I have no, yeah, my my courage and everything is, is done. I don't want to play anymore. But uh, football is and will be always my passion. So and I said, doesn't matter how hard it will be, there will be uh, a way out out of this uh, situation. And I uh, I decided or we decided, okay, come on, what uh, is the other opportunity you can try to use or you have to use and uh, we made some some yeah, interesting <laughs> decisions I would say and uh, yeah I had to stick to my dream and uh, to believe in myself and uh, this is the reward where, where we are now as a team and also me and uh, together with my wife in the Premier League. Yeah I think that's a theme running throughout the book your self-belief your, your belief in yourself exactly. and is that something you want people to take away from the book about how important it is to, to possess that self-belief in whatever you do and whatever your dreams are? Exactly um, like you said it's a uh, it's the main, the main thing, the main content of this book is that people um, should stick to their dreams, to their believing, to their passion, to the courage um, they have for, for different things. Um, and it doesn't matter uh, how the situation is, yeah? how bad it could be, there will be a way out and there will be people who support you. And uh, we especially, we had this... Um, we had this uh, situations already. We had this kind of experience, and that's why we decided, especially uh, for the young people, but also for the for a little bit for the older generation, for the older people. Um, doesn't matter at the end what kind of age you are. Um, take the responsibility, enjoy and what are you doing, and stick to yourself and to your dreams. And this is uh, where the book is, is based. How important is hard work being for you? 
yeah, without hard work, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be at Norwich. And uh, to be a player is uh, for Norwich City, and uh, that the people would appreciate my my work, what I'm doing for the club, and I always can uh, improve as well. And I need to do, um, but without hard work, I wouldn't be the same guy. <laughs> Uh, I am at the moment, and uh, yeah, this is yeah, this is the reason. This is how I feel, and I would describe myself. How grateful are you to, to the Norwich? Because obviously they, they took an opportunity on you. You came over on trial and impressed, yeah. and obviously deserved a, a contract. How, how grateful are you for them for, for taking that opportunity on you? I always uh, mention it when I have to when I have the chance. Uh, without Norwich, it wouldn't be the same situation. I wouldn't be the same player. Um, they gave me the opportunity, and I will always uh, appreciate that. And um, I think there's uh, and this is what you have to do. To be fair, um, if you have a, a my opportunity and my and my I think and my feelings. If you have a good character, you need to appreciate what people are doing for you and what they did. And um, I try to give that in each and every game um, to leave my heart on the pitch um, and to show the people how grateful and thankful I am, and also to the club who gave me the opportunity. And I will uh, always keep that in mind. And, and last season, obviously winning the, the championship title. Where does that rank for you in, in terms of your career? And yeah, that was um, yeah, that was the biggest uh, the biggest uh, title I or yeah, the biggest title I won uh, so far. And um, yeah, really really thankful um, to get that to get that chance and to help the team with uh, with my with my skills or with my hard work um, to to reach to reach that target and also to reach that uh, goal and also for for the club. I think uh, the club deserves absolutely. Um, this this trophy because um, they stick. That's a good example. They stick also uh, in hard times to the boss, to the manager, to the philosophy, and um, they we, we we got the bonus out of it, the reward in the last season, and um, that shows also in football wise for the Norwich for the Norwich people and the supporters uh, what is possible if you if you go continues uh, if you stick to your way to your dreams and. Uh, I'm very, very happy for, for last season, but uh, yeah, that was last season. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely was, and we spoke about your, your personal journey to the Premier League. How, how have you found playing in the Premier League? Um, yeah, of course, you need to adapt to this league. Uh, you need to you need to adapt to this league, and uh, you you have to you have to improve quickly because um, the situation uh, where we are at the moment is, is not not brilliant. So we have to be honest. Um, but I think um, we showed some good performances in the last couple of weeks, and we need to we need to stick to these um, and to yeah. Then we have some good chances to get uh, some more points. Hopefully. And that's it, because you've shown in games that you do have the quality to compete at this level. Exactly. It's just following that up with results, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, exactly. Um, it's getting the results because we showed um, some decent performances, I think. And uh, but this is not uh, at the end. Uh, the result counts, and uh, you will get points uh, for the result. Uh, but yeah, this is uh, it's uh, it's not an easy time. But I think with the with the supporters on our back, we can reach some extraordinary, and we still have it in our, our in our own hands. And the gap is not too big, and I'm I'm looking forward to the next few games because they're quite important, and uh, we showed already what we are capable of, uh, yeah, what we are capable to do. And obviously Aston Villa on uh, on Boxing Day is the start for that. How big is that game, given where both teams are in the in the table? Yeah, it's of course it's a quite uh, important game for for us and also for Villa, but um, I'm very very positive because uh, when I judged the last game against Wolves, we deserved definitely the three points. And, uh, but yeah, and we showed a great performance. But this is not what what counts. Counts let, at the end is the is the result. And um, so, but uh, we got no points. So we're traveling, but uh, still to Villa with uh, some self confidence because we are in a good shape. And I'm really looking forward uh, to get the three points. Obviously, last time the team's met Aston Villa won five one. You'll be keen to uh, make sure that you're on the right side of that scoreline this time, won't you? Yeah, of course, but you have to you have to mention that we had a lot of injured uh, players, yeah, and uh, that was a was a hard time for the for the squad because people played for the first time and uh, that was not the team who is used to play uh, with each other. They the people the players did did a great job, but you can't expect in one game that everything is is working pretty well and uh, pretty good. And uh, Willa was at that time in, in a good shape. So, but we have to make sure that it's not happen again. And uh, but I think we we will 
we will travel in a good in a good mood to to Villa and to leave our heart on the on the pitch and so show a good performance.